we will discuss on Kharkiv fob penetration. While the whole world does not stop from making new discoveries, technology innovation was very fast, same with security on all aspects. Every company that tries to create new and show the world on its new invention and innovation. Also our security needs to coop up on hardening not only on software applications but also hardware devices like microchips. Hello friends, we meet again. On this topic, we will discuss the car key fob weakness. As I said while everything changes also the method of hacking changes. Security researchers continue to find weakness on the technology that we have. Implementing perfect security is a big problem. Higher security means low and user-friendly capability. So company always focus more on the usage part. The easy to use the better for the end user. This topic is only for educational purposes only. As a part of my reminder to all car owners, never trust only on the build in car security. Security is not perfect sooner or later vulnerability will exist. Always remember 100% security does not exist. Hello friends we will try to exploit the weakness of car key fob lock and unlock. I am not saying here that all car brands are all exploitable. This is just proof of concept like others did. First is we will capture the transmission from the key fob. I created a simple tool to capture it with the help of our device. This tool that I created can capture and retransmit the information. So we are hoping that we can open and close the car without the original key fob. This tool that I created will not be possible without the help of the open source community.
first is we will capture the transmission from the key fob. I created a simple tool to capture it with the help of our device. This tool that I created can capture and retransmit the information. So we are hoping that we can open and close the car without the original key fob. This tool that I created will be hard for me without the help of the open source community. That's why I'm giving credits to open source community. Now that we have captured and saved the file from the transmission of the key fob, we will now transmit back the captured file using our RF tool and device, hoping that this will work. If it will not work, we will try to capture it again. Sometimes it needs to reinsert the device or reload the program. We should not relay only for the build and security. Added additional layer of security is better. Be alert. No one knows what will happen next, my friends. Thank you for watching please subscribe on this channel, your support will give me the motivation to create more educational videos. As always thank you for watching Dream Media.